Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to another Ruwak inspired edition of MDN News. I am Dick and Judah coming to you live from the city of Makanda. We are still at the Rhodes graduation ceremony. We are celebrating. The festivities are continuing. We have exciting interviews lined up. Uh, the likes of Justice Majanga, a sitting justice on the Constitutional Court bench. And we just want you to look forward to today's programming. Please don't touch the dial. We are with you today. And again, I am Dick and Judah for MDA News, and we are in Makanda. Good afternoon, Justice. I am Judah Malebe from MDA News, and how are you today, Justice? I'm well, thank you very much. Wonderful, yeah. Justice. Justice, we're here to talk to you about the conference of your degree today. And maybe just tell us briefly, how are you feeling, particularly because it is being conferred by your alma mater. It's something that does not happen very much, and I believe it should be something absolutely special for you. You've taken the words out of my mouth because I wanted to say I'm very, very excited. Uh, and especially so because this is being conferred by my university. Wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, no, so that's great to hear. That's yeah. great to hear. Um, Justice, we just want to talk to you and maybe, let me just take off the address that you gave earlier just uh, after you were conferred your degree. You spoke very passionately about the scourge of GBV that has gripped our society. And you addressed a whole lot of issues that we've never really taken heed of particularly how men conduct themselves about, up, around women, even though they don't actually lift their hand to touch women, but how we speak to women, and it really touched the chord. I'd like you to just maybe, because we are in a more personal setting, just talk to us a little about that, Justice. Uh, it, it's something that is, uh, bothers me and continues to bother me, um, because uh, there are people who, you know, when you interact with, you get uh, the distinct impression that uh, yes. they, they just do not feel that uh, mm. women are um, our equals. And uh, that leads to the sort of uh, toxic masculinity yes. that uh, results in, in GBV. Mm. And uh, I find that quite appalling and, uh, and, and quite uh, disturbing. And uh, it's, it's a subject that I, I have attempted to address uh, more than once. Um, but of course, I guess, you know, because this is so pervasive, what one individual does is uh, unfortunately a drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we, we do not uh, have to stop um, our efforts uh, to try to do something because of that. Yes, yes. Well, Justice, I think uh, I just want to find out, because you started practicing from an early age, at the age of 34. No, the, you were... That was... Yes, yes, Justice. No, no, no. 34 was when I was appointed as a judge. I was yes. coming to that I point. Was, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes Justice. Yes. I, I had uh, acted as an advocate before. Yes, yes. No, actually, Justice, thank you for just uh, bringing that to light. I just wanted to move to that point that at the early and tender age of 34, you were appointed as a judge. And perhaps I, I, while speaking on this issue of GBV, is it because of the cases that you have dealt with over time that this matter is so close to your heart, that you have such strong and passionate views about it? Uh, when I first addressed on the subject, I think... Uh, a few days uh, before that, I, I had been listening to the radio, and uh, it was around the days, uh, you know, um, on 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 uh, where where uh, gender-based violence is being addressed uh, nationwide, mm -hmm. and uh, the radio presenter, uh, Mr. Makaiser, you see this from Eusebius Makaiser took one listener to task um, asking him whether he had ever done anything about uh, GBV. And uh, sitting there, I just thought to myself, what have I ever done? And uh, I was going to address a judge's seminar, a seminar on judicial education. I decided to, to address on this subject. So, yeah. Wow. Well. I think just moving on from there and really touching very significantly on this matter, and I hope it's a lesson that 
others will draw from and actually do something about it like you just decided to stand up and do. Judge, I just want to talk about your life in the growing up in the judicial system because you were raised by the system and you are here today being conferred an honorary degree, I believe a fourth one. Uh, just tell us a bit about the journey in this. This is the second one. Wow, I thought it was the fourth one from the brief that I got. I wish. <laughs> no, it means that uh, but two more on the way, two more on the way. So just tell us briefly about your life in the judicial system, growing up in the system right up to this point. Um, it has been uh, quite a journey a journey that uh, exposes you to to quite a lot, quite a lot in the sense that uh, um, deciding cases touches on um, basically all facets of uh, human life, wow. um, because uh, all of those are usually litigated uh, on. And uh, sometimes it takes quite a toll on you, a toll on you in the sense that uh, uh, some of the cases uh, may be quite heart-wrenching. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, that's very draining. Yes. Draining physically, strangely, mm -hmm. but certainly also draining emotionally. Mm -hmm. So it has been quite a journey. An enjoyable one, you know, to the extent that I love the law, um, but also, um, quite a, a painful one in the sense that sometimes you encounter these uh, horrific cases. Now, uh, you talk about pain and the difficulty of sometimes dealing with these cases. I want to talk about the current setting and the conditions that this country finds itself in currently. Um, your view as a, 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 a judicial person of the current political situation, uh, the overall energy situation. What is your view in that? I know you're a judge and I understand that your views are limited in this area, but having put in so much effort in trying to contribute to society right up to this point, what is your view? I can never be specific, especially yes. because you say uh, you, you want me to <laughs> comment in so many ways on political issues. Yes. Um, once I do, uh, especially on the issues of political controversy, yes. then I will be <laughs> chugged out. Uh, and this is serious actually yes. because it's in black and white oh, in, wow. in our code. Oh, okay. You cannot express Political it's a matter views, of ethic. Uh, views on political controversy. Wow. But uh, what I would uh, rather uh, choose to say is that a lot of people um, like to say, and this is especially with regard to political issues, the judiciary is the last line of uh, defense. Mm -hmm. Of course, you heard uh, the vice chancellor, he said, the people or the society <laughs> are the last line of defense. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, what the vice chancellor says is actually correct. Mm -hmm. uh, but coming to, to this about the judiciary, I usually say I do not agree with that. Mm -hmm. I say we as the judiciary deal with issues on an ad hoc basis. Mm -hmm so-and-so and so-and-so so will be litigating against each other on issue X. Yes. And that is all that we are focusing on, mm -hmm. as opposed for, for example, um, the other arms of state, the executive and the legislature. There they are able to sit down, apply their minds broadly and widely as to what the situation is like, and then come up with policies to address those, unlike us who deal with issues on an ad hoc basis. Wow, yeah. wow. well, I, I think you, 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 you strategically worked yourself out of that <laughs> point. But thank you very much, Justice. Just as a parting shot, Justice, from here onward, what does the future hold? What are future plans? Um, does the work continue? Are you planning to hang up your boots soon? <laughs> or what is, what is the case? Um, I'm left with uh, just over two years. Wow. To, to, to retire. I've still, uh, I am still debating in, in, in my own mind what I want to do after that. But uh, perhaps I should mention that I'm quite attracted to, to, to teaching law. Wow. Um, but uh, whether or not anybody will have me 
to do that, that's something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's an intention to go back and teach. I think uh, they're going to uh, fight uh, over you. More a wish than an intention. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think they will fight over you because we do know that in your free time, you you, you went to the University of Fort Hay, you went to the uh, Walter Sassoon University to go and teach free of time, yeah. just to contribute. So we know that I have a strong suspicion that you will not be able to sit yourself down. You'll just find yourself at the door knocking and saying, here are my services. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> Justice, thank you very much. I am Judah Malepe from MDN News. I hope and wish you the best of life as you proceed from here. Many, many thanks to you. Thank you very much, Justice. That was Justice Madanga after his conference of his honorary degree. I am Deacon Judah for MDN News. This is Rhodes University graduation. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>